everyone I'm back again and today I'm sharing with you a, a sewing machine um, I've made these sewing machines before and I thought I would like to make a sewing machine as part of the prize for my um, challenge and I thought I'd make um, I thought I'd make it a little bit smaller than the original sewing machine I made. So all I've done is printed the pattern out at half the size, at 50%. So um, originally I thought it would be a little bit fiddly to sew, but it was actually no harder to sew than the larger size, so I was pleasantly surprised. Now I've done this all in um, the whites and creams and beiges. Um, hopefully to appeal to the majority of people, the, the winners, because of course I've made two. <laughs> Aren't they lovely? Oh, they're my babies at the moment. They're just so pretty. Um, the winners, obviously, when, when they receive them, they can add coloured flowers to them or whatever they want to do to them. They're theirs once they get them, aren't they? But I've kept them to these lovely um, shabby paler colours, um, like a vintage shabby chic look. And I've used a lot of my favourite things on these. I've, um, I've used this beautiful wedding applique that Michelle sent me. Thank you so much, Michelle. Um, when I did the tutorial for the sewing machine, I used that exact um, wedding trim. And Michelle sent me some more. So I was able to do both these machines in that same beautiful wedding applique. And I love it. I have some beautiful... Um, applique flowers that I love that sort of thing and they're from Rita um, thank you Rita I've put a lovely little flower on the back here and that was from Seriously Scrapping Irene and I think there was originally just a pearl in it so I added a crystal and a, a rhinestone I have vintage lace behind that flower I have a metal flower behind that and I have embroidery anglaise because I love embroidery anglaise. I just it's just one of those things I love. I've whitewashed whitewashed the little spool and put a little um, pearlescent paint, not full coverage, just to add touches to it. And I've glued that in nice and sturdily with a stick pin and the same on this end here. On the front of the sewing machine I've used just a filigree that I've cut to size and painted once again with some chalk paint and gone over it with the pearlescent artiste paint. Um, for, the, for the little needle here this time all I used was I used um, an eye pin you know like a bit of wire with a, sur, a sur, no a head pin I think they're called it's a it's like a a jewelry making find I don't have any left to show you uh, it's just a wire with a flat end on it and then I used one of these little funny shaped flower things see how it's kind of got a bit missing there I I put the I put a little bead on the end of the wire and put that in there and glued it but that little bit missing there was perfect because it, it could accommodate this bit of metal at the front of the sewing machine. The only downside is the only bead I had that would fit in there properly and wouldn't come off the end of the wire was a little tiny dark coloured bead. Um, Unfortunately, you can see that a little bit, but to me it kind of makes it look more mechanical, as if it may actually work, which it doesn't. <laughs> um, what else have we done here? I've covered the top of the box with some beautiful doilies, and a lot of them were cut in half so that I could 
use the same things on both boxes. But then there are cases where um, doilies, I may have only had one. So I've just, you know, like this one and this one aren't the same, but they're very similar. And this one here and this one here, they're not the same, but they're very similar. So I've tried to do that, which it makes them very similar, but you know, they're unique. So you have your own unique um, sewing machine. Around the bottom, I've just wrapped pearls and then had it going across and like finishing where the scissors are there as if they're being cut by the scissors or something like that. The scissors are just, um, they're metal scissors, they were like a bronze colour and once again I've just shabbied them up and also the little uh, needle plate, can you see the needle plate under here? That's metal as well. On top here I've used this gorgeous lace. I love this lace. I, I found a long time ago a large spool of it. I have shared it with quite a few people and it's so delicate and pretty and it, it's a pure cotton lace. Um, so I've just gathered the top part of it up here as if it's already gone through the sewing machine and I've even got little threads there and then I've um, just folded it here as if it's just been put down for a moment. And I wanted it to look like, you know, it was sat on a, a bed of doilies. And I've even made a little pin cushion. That works. I don't have any mini pins to put in it though. But, and that's made out of some beautiful silk. And the pearl in the centre was actually the pearl of one of these flowers in the centre. And what else do we have here? Uh, under that doily we have this lovely dangle trim and that came from uh, Seriously Scrappin'. I just tea dyed that because I love dangly trims so I put dangly trims on it. And there's also, oh, I'll show you, I'll show you that part in a moment. There's this lovely gathered netted trim under here like a little skirt and that was originally from Jane Rag um, and I think that's it for the top of the boxes so just let me take the, the lid off and inside and that actually might still be drying because I've just decoupaged that, um, that pattern paper on and a note of reference, do that before you decorate the sewing machine or the box. I completely forgot to do, you know, to do that. And it's so much easier to do it before you start adding all your bits and pieces. So that's the outside of the box. The box is actually covered in some wallpaper that I have. And it's a slight um, blue-grey to it, which you all know that blue is is one of my favorite colors and then I've got this beautiful trim here and that was from Lynn Harris thank you Lynn and that just goes all the way around and I've just wallpapered the bottom of the box also um, I am going to wait a couple of days to send this once the prize is drawn simply because I don't want it smelling of glue um, I don't, you know, I need to air it out for a couple of days. Like I said, that is actually still drying. And I've done the, in the, the lid of it as well. And although you may think it's hard to get a lid on when it's got the dangles, there is a way to do it. And all you do is you put this edge of it, like in like that, down that end, go like that, and your lid's on and none of the dangles are stuck in it at all. I was a little bit worried about that but it, it's easy. It's very easy. So there's the beautiful two sewing machines. Part of the prize for my two winners of my challenge giveaway. And <clears throat> inside the box are going a few little treats. Um, instead of making a bag, I thought, well, I've got a box, I will just put the treats in the box. So first off, I have a little envelope here. 
And in this envelope is uh, some of this, which I love. It's, it's a yarn, but it looks like little beads. And what I thought was when the, per when the winner gets it, if they want to, they can wrap some around here, the little bobbin, and take it across if they want, and take it down, you know, and use it. Um, I didn't want to put it there before mailing because it'll, it'll make it even harder for me to post. So I've put a, a, a nice length of this in this little envelope for you to play with if you want. You might not want to. To me, I like it the way it is, um, but I know some people like it to have it looking like it's got thread or something like that. So that will go in with it as well. Next, I have made a little love heart um, decorated it for the winner. There are two of everything of what I'm showing you, so that's just an extra little gift that is going in there as well. I'm adding in a nice length of this lovely little trim here. You may recall I found this at the thrift store quite some time ago, a bag full, and I love it. And if you're not keen on the little plastic De Montes, which I'm not overly keen on, um, they just pop off. So there's a length of that. There's also some lace, and that's a length of this lace here that is my favourite. So it is old. Please remember a lot of these things that I work with are old. Um, my doilies, they might have a mark or something on them. To me, I like that because it shows me they've been loved before. They haven't been just sat in a drawer somewhere. They've actually been used, may have been stained, and they've been loved. So, um, you know, if you win something, it, one of the doilies may have a little mark on it. Um, that's got a thread stuck in there. It's like this lace. It's an old lace, so you can see it may be slightly discoloured a bit, but it's still a very beautiful lace. And then there's this one also um, that I was so lucky to find. Where is it? Oh, it's a beautiful lace, this. Um... Oh, here we go. Look at that. I found over three and a half metres of it for $3.50 quite some time ago. Um, it's a beautiful lace, a very beautiful lace. So I'm sharing some of that with the winner as well, along with a piece of this gorgeous trim here. It's, um, it's a beautiful trim. So there's, a, there's double that that I'm putting in as well. Um, love the look of that. Absolutely love the look of that. So this will all go in the box along with some shoe buckles because I thought what do I have two of? Of course shoe buckles. So these are some buckles that I have found on shoes that I thought I would share. And there's a dog and believe it or not that was on the front of a shoe and so was that and so was that and this one has the added advantage it's still got the prongs on it as well what a lovely little frame that one would make though so each of the winners will also receive those and one of these and these ones are brand new look at that brand new I think that's the only thing that's brand new um, you can take it off the hair clip and use that on a project it's really pretty and I'll leave that in the bag so you each get one of those as well and then some doilies um, this is a beautiful tattered doily Michelle sent me three or four of these in a beautiful rack and so I've kept 
I've kept two and I'm sharing two. One each for each of the winners and they're really beautiful so you can either craft with it or use it. So there's that one there and then this one here was one that I found myself and I'm sharing that one as well. Now this one is different to the one in the other packet but they're both tattered doilies so I didn't because I'd found that I didn't have two of those but I've put another one in and then there's also this lovely one and these I love these I've used these in here um, slightly marked but for crafting it's lovely and that's got the butterflies on so that will also go in there and then lastly, I have a couple, just a bit of wedding applique. And this is precious because this is actually a dress I found a few years ago now. And it's not one that I've purchased the appliques. This, this dress, I actually sat there and I took the appliques off the dress. And it's precious because around here where I live, you, you barely ever come across a wedding dress. And if, if you do, they're usually outrageously priced. So it's not the sort of thing that is easy to come by. So it is rather precious. And I have shared this particular wedding trim with a lot of people over the last few years. And I, you know, I'm down to the last little remaining bits of it now. Um, so I'm sharing that precious wedding trim with the winners also. So there we go. There's the goodies that will go in the box and this is the beautiful petite sewing machine. Oh, I love it. I'm going to be sad to see them go, but I am going to make myself one. I have started. I've only covered it in lace so far. I, you know, I was concentrating on these um, to start with. Um, but this, this is one of the prizes and I've printed all the names out and I'm ready to draw the winner. Um, so, but I'll, I'll upload this so people can see it first and I've got to pop up the mailbox this morning. Hope, uh, I, there's three people I'm waiting on. I don't know if they'll be there. It would be nice if they were there. If not, I'm still going to go ahead with the drawing. And like I said before, I will include their names. And um, if, if they are one of the winners, then I will um, hold that until their entry arrives. And there we go. I hope you like those gifts that are going in sight. And I really hope the winners like their lovely little sewing machine. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.